When they encounter the vision, I told them three years. What is coming in your mind? And then they let's sit and miss out on children that have been in the I don't think I've seen a single case. Patient comes in with low sodium. What do you think of first? The patient's got high, high on their treatment. I'm talking about potential diagnosis. Oh, that's not ADHD. That's this. Yeah, okay, but first, before that. Fluid overload. Fluid overload, yes. Fluid overload, including renal, mm -hmm. liver, and cardiac. <coughs> <coughs> Which one do you think? Give rise to the yeah. lowest CM sodium. Hmm? Why do you despise the liver? <laughs> this is cirrhosis of the liver can have some of some as sick as this. Usually it's actually cirrhosis. Okay, so fluid overload, I either liver, renal, or cardiac. And then the, okay, the next thing is normal body weight. The first thing you think of is what you have mentioned. You know, what is it again? SIDH. What may cause SIDH? Only two major diseases. Hmm? Lung disorder, not just the pneumonia. See lung, for example. So, so lung disorder, and the other one is CNS disorder. So you probably all have. <laughs> Brain disorder starting from concussion, okay, can cause and how do you diagnose it? Not by exclusion. So how do you diagnose SIADH? Simultaneous serum and renal severity. Simultaneous serum and renal severity. So how do you tell from the serum of severity and renal severity? That the patient is suffering from SIADH. If the the use of okay, the serum of serenity must be low. If the serum of serenity is inappropriately high, that is SIADH. So inappropriately high serum of serenity in the presence of low serum of serenity. If, for example, if I force you to drink water, um, okay, your, your sodium may come down, but you'll be passing almost water. You understand what I'm talking about? So inappropriately high serum of serenity in the presence of low serum of serenity. So what other thing have you got to exclude after you've diagnosed and excluded SIDH? SIDH is stepping in the comments. Hmm? Yes, you are correct. All this is deficiency. <coughs> 10 tips to hyponatremia and SIADH. Approach to hyponatremia, one, two, three. Number one, pseudo-hyponatremia or true hyponatremia. You need to know about serum osmolarity measured and calculated they are in different units calculated osmolarity equals to sodium level times 2 plus glucose plus urea level in calculated osmolarity the two times sodium level occupies more than 90 percent shares of the calculated osmolarity therefore in patients with true hyponatremia the measured and calculated osmolarity should be low number two volume status hypovolemic uvolemic hypervolemic number three urine sodium in case of hyponatremia if patient has normal renal and certain hormonal function the urine sodium should be low because the body try to reabsorb urine sodium back to blood on the other hand if urine sodium is high in hyponatremia think about renal endocrine causes and drugs especially diuretics these are the causes of hyponatremia according to volume status and urine sodium hyponatremia is not equal to SIADH. There are many causes of hyponatremia. SIADH is only one of them. I have a memory to remember the diagnosis of SIADH, namely SIADH. S. Serum, sodium, and osmolarity low. I. Inappropriately high urine sodium and osmolarity. A. Adrenal, thyroid, renal functions are normal. D. Diuretics not recently used. H. Hyper or hypovolemic is not the case. SIADH is Uvolemic state. It is not easy to fully diagnose SIADH. You need to demonstrate normal adrenal function by performing short sniffing tests. Recommendations for further reading. First, the American Journal of Medicine 2007 
Hyponatremia Treatment Guidelines 2007 Expert Panel Recommendations Second article in New England Journal of Medicine 2007 The Syndrome of Inappropriate Antidiuresis Thank you for joining Professor Lai Qinglong Medical Teaching Section